The photo merge dialog has always had several different options and several different approaches for stitching our images together. One of the best ways to get to understand what each of these options does is to demonstrate working with them on the same set of images. Here we've got a set of four images, overlapping photos, all shot handheld of a country house in the UK. I'm just going to go down to File and then New and then down to Panorama to open up the dialog box. Notice that in Photoshop Elements 9 we actually have two extra options. We have Spherical which is designed for stitching together those images that have been shot of a full 360 degree view of a scene. And we also have Collage. Now Collage is different to Reposition and Cylindrical and it sits pretty much between the two of them. With cylindrical, the images will be deformed and pushed and pulled around in order to make the composition work. With reposition, the images are just aligned with no distorting or transforming of the pictures. With collage, however, it's about a halfway point between those two options. Because with collage, we can adjust how the images are positioned but also rotate and scale the source files in order to get them to align. Let's have a look at a couple of examples. We'll just click Add Open Files to open the images that are sitting inside the workspace. Here they are, the four photos. And we'll click on Auto to start with and click OK. And Photoshop Elements will go off and layer up these images and we'll create a panorama based on that setting. Each of the images will be dragged in and layered up in a new Photoshop document and then the... <laughs>